sometimes things are out of my control and sometimes i don't understand why the rolling thunder rolls but when the rain falls from the sky the grass turns green the flowers bloom and i stop asking why because i know with hope there's always a better tomorrow it's hard to believe the best but you can't win if you give My cups! <laughs> What's wrong, Brandon? Cat got your cups? What? You're asking the wrong question, Brandon. Tis not what, but in fact, hoost. I'm pretty sure I didn't mean hoost. Hoost, you ask? Very well, Brandon. Ha! It is I! The quiz master, master of quiz shows, here to wreak havoc on your day with my curious queries. Yeah. Hey, quiz master. Hey, if you don't mind, I was going to practice my cup stacking, so you can probably just. Nay! <laughs> my cups! Now that your concentration is collated in my direction, answer me this What looks like a couch? but sleeps like a bed. A futon. <laughs> a futon? Yeah, that's right. No! Not a futon. Something else. No, it's a futon. Okay, that's fine. A, it's a futon. But how about this quizzling conundrum? Yeah. What breakfast food? Cereal. What? How could you possibly? This isn't fair. What? 
Was that right? I was just guessing. Ah! It's the, it's the first thing. Hello everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm Steven. And this is the So-and-So Show, where we have a box of random stuff under the table. <laughs> That's right, Brandon. Ah. All right, I assume you know something about this? <laughs> I know plenty about random stuff, Brandon. Plenty. All right, but this specific random stuff? Oh, no, I have no, no. idea. Okay, well, maybe there's somebody behind that door who does know what to do with a random box of stuff. Someone who knows stuff? Someone who knows stuff! Woohoo! Hey, hey Mishka! All right. Hey! <laughs> Mishka, uh, tell us who you are and what you know. I don't know. Sure. I'm Mishka. And I'm an inventor. And normally I'd be able to do something with the box of junk I left under the desk. Oh. But, but I can't because my dumb arm is in a dumb sling because I heard it playing soccer. And now I'm going nuts. Oh, I'm really sorry about that, Mishka. Yeah, I know. I just, when I can't invent things, I feel like, like hopeless. I feel like I, like really stressed and I get like, I get Einstein. Bose, Newton, Curry, MacGyver. Mishka lists the name of famous physicists when she starts to feel overwhelmed. Oh, well, what were you planning on inventing with this box of stuff? I was gonna make an automatic cat feeder for my cat because she's hydroglycemic and really can't afford to just gorge on dry food all day. But now I can't do anything because my arm. See, it's hopeless. No, I mean, no, it's not hopeless. Maybe, um... Maybe we could help you build it? You could? Sure we could! But you do have a show to do. Hmm. How are you going to find the time to do something like this? Through the time-saving power of the 1980s montage! Hit it! Why are we high-fiving? This looks terrible. Oh. Well, who cares what it looks like if it works? Right. Right? So, like, I'll just oh. pour some cat food on the top here. All right. Good job. And now... A disaster! What a waste of a montage. Einstein, Bose, Newton, Newton Curry. Curry. Oh, what's the use? I feel awful. We need help. Yeah. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, what's up? Feeling a little hopeless here, Kellen. What about you? Well, I'm about to tell the Bible story, and it's pretty hopeful. Really? You bet. This is an important week. This week, hundreds of years ago, Jesus and his disciples experienced something that today we call Palm Sunday. And we're going to tell this amazing story with Laundry Theater! <laughs> Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem to celebrate the annual Passover feast. As they neared Jerusalem, Jesus told two of his disciples to go find him a donkey to ride on. So they went. Jesus told them where to find the donkey, 
And he said, if anyone says anything, tell them that the Lord needs the donkey and the owner will send it right away. The disciples indeed found the donkey just like Jesus said they would. When they got back to Jesus, the disciples took off their coats and placed them on the donkey. This was so Jesus would have something to sit on. Then Jesus got on the donkey and they headed to Jerusalem. Meanwhile, in Jerusalem, a huge crowd had gathered from all over. They had heard stories of Jesus' miracles, how he had raised Lazarus from the dead. They believed that Jesus was the Savior God had promised them and they hoped that Jesus would soon take over as their king. When they heard Jesus was on his way, the people spread their coats all on the road. Some people cut palm branches from the trees. They spread the branches all on the road. And when Jesus came into the city riding on the donkey, the crowd cheered at his arrival. They yelled, Hosanna! and blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, and blessed is the King of Israel. It was a huge celebration. Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. Now, hundreds of years before, a prophet of God wrote that the Savior would be riding on a donkey. Jesus was the Savior. He was the King the people had been waiting for. All their hopes had been answered. The end. Or was it? The good news is, the people were right. Jesus was the Savior they've been waiting for. But they would be disappointed to learn that Jesus wouldn't immediately become their king if they only knew what the future held. God had a plan that was bigger and better than anyone could have ever hoped for. And you'll hear about that next week. Did that give you some hope, Mishka? I think so. Not being able to build things isn't what I want right now, but I've got to remember that God is still working. Something good could come out of all of this. Yep, you can always have hope even when things aren't going the way we expected because God loves you and he's still at work. Thanks, Kellen. No problem, I'll see you next time. Bye. I feel better. Maybe my automatic cat feeder didn't work out like I planned, but it, it wasn't a total failure. I learned one way not to make an automatic cat feeder, so I can try something new next time. And we can help. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Review the question. What are you hoping for? You could be hoping for something small, like getting an A on your spelling test, or that you get an extra slice of pizza in your lunch next week. Or you could be hoping for a new house for your family, or for your mom to get a new job or for your cat not to eat too much. <laughs> Whatever you hope for, you have to remember that God is always working. So just keep hoping. I hope everyone enjoyed the show. I know, I sure did. And I hope to see you next week. Until then, I'm Brandon. I'm Steven. And I'm Mishka. And this was The So-and-So Show. Yeah! I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>